date unknown, inside the Tain. Tradition tells us almost nothing of the Mercridia, save for the horrible skull platforms they would build from the severed heads of their enemies. We found one of these a few hours ago, 30 feet high and 100 feet across, each skull arranged with a mad precision that was terrifying to behold. Many of the skulls were human, or at least humanoid, but among these were others which were certainly not, whose shapes and curves I have tried to forget ever since. In the center of the platform, far above our heads, rose the ancient battle standard of the Mercridia. We left immediately. Mergen believes that we are close to finding a back door, a secret exit from the Tain, added by its creators so they could escape the thing if it were ever used against them. It will be hidden, of course, and almost certainly protected by traps, but it is our only chance of escape. These caves are so vast that we've been able to locate less than 50 of the 4,000 men we suspect are imprisoned with us. Mergen hopes that he can release the others after we have escaped by destroying the Tain at the exit. I asked him if doing so would also set free everything which had ever been imprisoned in the Tain, but got no response. Welcome once again to a thrilling installment of Myth the Fallen Lords with me, Effing Controller. Oh, good, we're still stuck in the Tain. So we didn't really escape, but we learned a little bit in the pre level pep talk. Oh my! It's really rude to interrupt my introductions like that, guys. That's really not appreciated. Uh, okay. So, those guys are wrecking shit. That's good. Oh, we've already lost somebody. Oh, well. It was bound to happen. And you guys just actually come on back, because I don't know what's going on. That's kind of lame. We already lost somebody in the very first engagement. Oh, well. And stop shooting, and so that we can start cutting. Cut, 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 cut. Splat. And is there anybody else who wants to just teleport in and wreck our shit? Apparently not. Lucky us. Alright, so we've got berserks, we've got archers, and one interesting fact that I uh, discovered, actually, is that the guys that we left behind in the previous level are somehow still with us. Don't ask how that works, because it does not make any sense whatsoever. But whatever. Well, it makes sense because video games. How about that? We'll just roll with that explanation. So, this level, um, it's still cave-like and everything, but there's an added twist. An obelisk twist here. You can see that there is this thing here, and there's another one over here, and I believe there's one somewhere over here. But they do something kind of neat, and let me just take the opportunity right now to show you what they do. It is really, really fun. Over here. So as you see, as you can see, as you get closer to them, they start to glow, as if to say, come give me a giant hug. I'm very warm and inviting, yeah. but if you do get close to them, they will do horrible things to you. Oh, God. Don't do that. So yeah, that's basically the trick of this level, is trying to figure a way out, or, well, figure a way around, I guess, these guys. These guys are not people. Funny looking guy there. Um, it's basically, you just have to figure a way around them. Um, how do we get around them? I'm not too sure. The level flavor text thing here says, Find a way to outsmart the traps guarding the exit from the cave. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we do that. I'm not so good with the whole outsmarting thing, as you've probably discovered. So, I'm going to just get a little bit closer and see if we can actually pick, a, pick away at these boogers. And by boogers, I mean spiders. Don't get any funny ideas. I certainly didn't. Okay, that's pretty close. Got him. Yeah, we're... It's weird, the spiders just do kind of a conga line here. Um, so they're not really much of a concern. Question is, was that the wrong thing to do? 
I don't know for sure. I guess we'll find out. So let's see, where can we go that is uh, not guarded by some kind of horrible obelisk? There's an obelisk there. Uh, how about over here? That looks clear. So let's go see what's going on. Whoa. Okay. So there is one over here, but we're not quite close enough to activate it. Um, I'm a little bit curious about how the spiders play into this. They obviously have some kind of role. Let me Wait, just... No. Let me just check something really quick. Let's use Rifnir always wounded as our guinea pig. Yeah. Yeah, it's still lights up. I was wondering if the spiders had something to do with it, so they don't. Vroom! Okay. We'll just yeah. charge forward here. Try not to get obelisked. There's another one. And there's something there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's something menacing here. Although, I wonder... I wonder what role this has in terms of the, the circuit here in this uh, level. I bet it's got a very obvious place to put somebody there, so why don't we put Gymir Battleseeker here and see what it does. Not a whole lot, um, but then let's see if that deactivates. No, the pillar's active now. Is that pillar active? We're not even that close to that. I don't understand. Was the journeyman act? Wow, that thing's got some range. Um, Let's leave that one active and see if this one goes active. Over here. It's possible. Yeah, that's exactly it. So if one of them is active, the rest can't activate. So that's kind of cool. Now I wonder... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I wonder how much has to do with this guy here. Does he have any role to play here? Not really. Okay, so that guy's completely... This has nothing to do with anything, as far as I can tell. Okie dokie. So, what we'll do... No. <laughs> yeah, not gonna control-click the ground to randomly attack it. Um, based on my lessons from the previous level, I know that if you leave troops um, isolated to, you know, keep something active like that, they'll tend to get attacked. So I'm not going to um, leave just one guy so that he can get killed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys in line here, put our archers over here and our dwarves, and fatty, fatty, fat, fat over here. So those spiders are cruising around there. I'm not too concerned about them, but I yes. think that this is going to work nicely for us. Let's go. You guys go over here. We'll have our archers work on the spiders. Yes. They can actually get quite close if they want to now. If they want to. Maybe it would be better to put him here. Yes. Very nice. Yes. And we'll wait for the last part of the conga line. Delightful. Okay. Um, Berserks move on ahead. Nothing really happening over here. I might 
bring a couple more up, but I don't know. We'll see. Over here. The flavor text did mention something about picking something up, and I don't know what it is. Um, possibly, well, we've got it basically some kind of altar or platform or divot or something there, so maybe we have to set something there, but I don't know what it is. There's something shiny. Is there anything else that I need to watch out for? Guess not. Okay. We'll just plunge ahead. Some spiders. Yeah. Kind of tidy up our formation here. Oh, oh, oh no. I'm not excited about this. E okay. That's not good, but Sir? How do we deal with this? Well, I am imagining that our dwarves are going to come into play here. Cuz they're going to have to probably take out that spider queen. That's kind of worrisome there. Over here. They're gonna. They're not starting to attack. So, oh shit! Spoke too soon. Oh my god! They move so fast, and they're poisonous. Sweet Jesus! Oh no! Christ. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna forget that that whole ugly episode ever happened. We're just going to put that behind us and give it another try here. Oh man, just poor dwarf management on my yes. part. What are you going to do? You're going to actually put your dwarves a little bit closer to your berserks so that even if um, an enemy does get close to the berserks, the dwarves aren't going to automatically what? throw so close, but um, I don't know if that explanation makes sense, but they're not going to throw at a target that's too close for them to throw at, so if you keep them close to your berserks, they're not going to inadvertently become a target. What now? Okay. Let's see. How about Yes. Let's just do this. A little bit at a time. Okay. Run. Nice. That's much better. <laughs> that was a much better way of dealing with that little issue. Okay. Huh. I feel positively capable, like I did something right for once. What a wonderful yeah. feeling. And my berserks are just going to go hog wild here. Nicely done. Okay. So, put our archers over here. And I don't know if there's any other surprises lurking in here, but we'll find out shortly. Um, there's some kind of shiny object there, so I'm going to go get it. And the text said something about the dwarves getting it, so I'll have one of the berries yeah. grab it. Hopefully that doesn't summon a bunch of spiders or something horrible. Yoink. Okay, I don't really know what that's going to do, but uh, I'm assuming it has something to do with that altar, if anything. Let's just go ahead and mosey on over here. Why are you going over there? <laughs> oh, dwarves. You and your zany ways. Okay. Rip. And let's go to the altar and see what all that 
shiny shit does. Let's get the berserks out of before. No, wait. Don't get any closer to that. <laughs> oh. oh my. All right, who's got the the doohickey? Okay. Okay. So what if you stand on this? Whoa. Yeah. No kidding. Uh. Well, is that the exit? Ah. Okay. So I bet that there's multiple shiny things that we have to find. Okay. So the important thing is to keep our dwarves alive because apparently they're the only ones with opposable thumbs. Um, we're gonna go check out the other obelisks then, and leave Angnir of Fire and Iron hanging out here. So we did this one, and I'm assuming we'll go to this one then. Room. Wait, whoa, okay. False alarm. So based on the movement of that spider, I'm guessing that there's another uh, spider queen. That'll be fun. God save the queen. Let's go. Actually, please don't. If there is a god out there, please kill the spider queens, if you would. Yes. Make this a lot easier. Okay, is there a shiny thing over here? Yes, there is. There's a shiny. And how about over here? Well, don't see one, but doesn't mean it's not there. I'm moving. Did we lose a berserk? I... No. Ah. Well, we did earlier, but I thought we had another one in this little group here, but. That's our motley crew. This one's Tommy Lee, and that's actually the only member of Motley Crew I can name off the top of my head. Cause I guess he's kind of famous or something. Let's go, sir. Famous for non-musical reasons, actually. <laughs> All right. I don't see any sign of the queen, although I guess she's probably guarding the. Orb, whatever it is. I'm moving. Do any of my need uh, my men need healing? It doesn't look like Let's it, go. but yeah, we're good. Nope, you guys stay there. Oh shit! 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 Die, fools. Ready. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god. Dwarves, stay out of this. Oh my god. Okay. Didn't really uh, use my dwarves so much in that exchange, but worked out all the same. Alright. Okay, what the fuck? Um, well, that kind of happened out of the blue, so I couldn't really do anything Casualty. about that. Um, you just get out of here. Why aren't you guys attacking? I keep clicking and I keep missing. Yes, step aside. Hey! Hey! <laughs> get back. All right. So that group is still together, and yeah, we did lose a berserk. Well, what's his problem? Life near. <laughs> What the crap? <laughs> Look at those little legs go, but he's not going anywhere. Oh, life near. Poor life near. I'm moving. So near and yet so far away. I have not had that happen before, where the game just kind of glitches. I wonder if taunting helps. Let's go. Well, you know what? We might have to kill Lifenir. Because I don't know if it'll let us finish the level without him. Because I'm assuming that we go through that giant gate. Yes. But we'll see. OK, 
Okay, was there anything over here? This was just looked like an alternate route or something. Yeah. It's a shame that we couldn't get those reinforcements saved, but they kind of surprised me. Could you guys time that better next time? Could you guys like, you know, text before you come by? Just a basic courtesy, but whatever. Okay, so there's the entrance. We're gonna go over here. And there's another obelisk. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna heal Thewin Splinter Grip. Whoops. Just cruise right along. Okay, Thewin. Any other ones looking? bad off. Carmate's taken some damage, but he's actually looking okay. So, what I'm going to do is put my archers up in front and start shooting the spiders that do their little patrol route here. It's very weird how the game has them do that. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but as we've discovered, the game just kind of has units doing weird things sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. position ourselves here and that's probably another spider okie dokie I'm moving. Just putting us in a huge messy formation like that not really a good idea but I've never been much of an ideas guy Let's go. I'm not a guy that you would say knows things I kind of just do stuff. All right. So there's more spiders and probably another horrible spider queen waiting for us. Fantastic. Let's put the dwarves over here. Hi. I'm moving. Yes. See if we can methodically take care of these spiders. Well, this is sort of methodical. That was mine. Well done, old bean. Okay. Run. Oh my god. So fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Get back up. That's ridiculous. Oh no, I'm going to lose that berserk that I didn't heal. Run. Oh. That's a shame. Serves me right, I guess. Okay. Phew. I hate those things. They're just so... F I didn't know that they could do that. That whole charging thing. That's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And is there anything else over here? Doesn't appear to be. It's kind of weird how they have these giant Let's go. empty spaces here. Wonder if something's gonna teleport in. I'm moving. Yeah. It's not a good idea to do this actually. Oh well. Seems like everything's fine. So we've got one shiny, now we have two shiny. We've already put one shiny on the altar. And so now we have to find the last one and I'm assuming it's by where our other dude is waiting. So let's go over here. I'm gonna probably have to kill that one uh, berserk that's stuck here in a minute, but let's go. Let's heal him. And Ready. we have to leave somebody at this post. Somebody useless. Oh, you'll do. Okay, that's probably good. 
Now, let's actually move him pretty far away. And move him far away. Yeah. Okay, so that one's active. Probably because of the journeyman, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Looking sharp. Alright, let's go back up and <laughs> take care of our treadmilled friend here. Alright, this is obviously a job for a dwarf. This is really one of the things that they exceed at is or excel at, rather. They're excessively excellent at it. Look out. Apparently, there was a casualty. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm moving. So I'm pretty sure, I mean, if anything, he would have yeah. caused the level not to end when it was time to, but... Over here. Meh. I also like indiscriminate killing, so... What now? Nothing wrong with that. Alright, so this obelisk here, that looks like it's going to be kind of... Yeah, there's the other shiny, so we're almost done. Did we explore over here? We had no need to. I'm moving. Let's move our berserks up and see if... Yeah. All's well. All clear. All right. Yeah. All right, there's going to be one more spider queen to contend with. I just thought I heard spiders. Something going to drop down from the ceiling. Please don't do that. Let's go. I don't enjoy that at all. That is the least favorite. Okay, there's the queen. How do we do this? Maybe put our dwarves over here, our berserks here, and our archers here. I like the sound of that. I'm moving. I can't go there, though. We'll adjust accordingly. You guys are terrible. Oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Shit ass cock. Oh my god, you guys are. You guys are fucking idiots. <sighs> okay. So, we're back roughly to where we were. In my brash arrogance, I didn't uh, save the game other than uh, towards the very beginning of the level, but I've gotten us roughly to where we were before. So, each of my dwarves now has a shiny, and we have one more shiny left over here. So, let's go ahead and use the shiny. I actually guess uh, at this point I had not used the shinies. Ooh, ah... Captivating. Well, we're getting there. Okay. And so now I'm going to save the game prudently. Alright. So now we can go through here. Let's go. I've got one of my guys left behind there. And we didn't get that one guy stuck, although I did lose an extra berserk along the way. So yep. it ended up working out pretty much the same. Although I did a little bit better against those units that teleported in. Uh, I have an extra archer now, but that's... You know, he's a new archer. He's fresh. He doesn't really know what the hell he's doing, so... So let's try this one more time. Let's see if we can get into a better formation here. Looks like we're going to have to do some healing as well. Let's get Bram to your pile of corpses. Actually, when I was taking out the... Whoops. When I was taking out the spider... 
in this corner here, the southeast corner, I managed to get one of my Molotovs to bounce off an explosion and then killed the Spider Queen with relatively little effort. I wish you guys had been there, man. Ha. <laughs> but you weren't because I'm an idiot, so... Yay! Go effing controller! Let's plays! Woo! Alright. This game is really tough to let's play because it is just, for me anyways, because I suck at it, it's pretty unforgiving. And if you forget to save like I tend to, it is even more joyous because you make all kinds of shitty mistakes. So... Yes? Yes? Really, really wish the pathfinding was better. Oh, hey! You guys back off. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer. Let's huddle up. I'm moving. Get familiar with each other here, gents. Alright, so there's the queen. Hey, fool it. She's a killer queen. She keeps a moe a chandon in a pretty cabinet. Let them eat cake, she says. Just like Marie Antoinette. Except she says it like a spider, so she goes, Nah, let them eat cake. And these guys are kind of being cagey. They're not quite attacking directly. They're maneuvering a bit. And that one's frightening me. We have to try to get over here, I think. Over here! I don't like having our dwarves over off to the left with all that shit in the way, Step though. Aside. Oh, shit. Okay. Step aside. Okay, well, forget it. <laughs> Step aside. This is just gonna kind of be assholes and elbows now, I guess. No, you guys! Oh, okay. I think we're gonna be able to handle this. You get out of there. You get out of there. You're hurt. I will nurse you back to health with suckling from my mandrake teat. It's pretty metal right there. Mandrake teat. Alright, that was a bit of a image. Let's get the last shiny bauble. Hope that nothing else transports in because that would be embarrassing. And now I'm all save shy, so I'm gonna Save it one more time. And get everybody out of here. Put us over here. Anything else going to teleport in? No. Wonderful. What? Okay. Get you guys over here. And get our last berserk away. Now, are we far enough away from that that it's not going to blow us to smithereens? We are. It would be unfortunate to lose the guy that has the shiny thing to lightning over here, because I'm pretty sure we would never be able to get it back again. Okay. Looking sharp. Squared away in strack. Gonna go up to the gate here. Huck that thing in there. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
who knows? Maybe we have more delicious, tainy goodness ahead of us. Maybe not. We'll see. So that'll come next episode with me, Effing Controller, playing Myth the Fallen Lords. I'll catch you guys later.